It's this email sent from a rape victim to a number of people with the subject line, I was raped at Baylor, that's been part of the debate during the sexual assault investigation. The victim, whose identity was concealed, appeared on ESPN's Outside the Lines on Wednesday. She sent the email in the fall of 2015 about a rape that happened in 2009. A few hours after that interview aired, we met with Starr at the president's home on the Baylor campus. One of our questions was about that email. What about um, the victim that came forward saying that she had personally sent you an email and Art Riles an email saying in the subject line that she was raped at Baylor? Did you ever see that email? I honestly may have. I'm not denying that I saw it. But it's what happens moments later that brings the interview to a halt. What you can't see during this interview is my news director behind me. You also can't see a woman named Mary Spate who asked my boss to promise not to use that portion of the interview. When he says no, she interrupts our interview. Well, I want to point out, I, I need to talk to Jen Starr. To, to start. Okay. Okay. I need to talk to you, sir. Okay. Do you ask great questions? Okay, great. Can I ask you one more question? I have got to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Spate was introduced to our crew as a longtime family friend. What we've since learned is she has a long resume in crisis management. She's a communications specialist, owns her own firm, and was once a director of media relations at the White House for President Reagan. She also coached Starr while he gave testimony to impeach Bill Clinton. After a few minutes away, the two returned. She needs to ask you that question again. Whether you do it on camera or not, it's up to you. I just want to make sure it doesn't end up misedited. Okay. We ask Starr again, and he answers, but turns to Spate, apparently for coaching. All I'm going to say is I honestly have no recollection of that. Of seeing any email? Is that okay? Don't look at me. Look at her. Then Star answers again. I honestly have no recollection of seeing such an email, and I believe that I would remember seeing such an email. The President University gets lots of emails. I don't even see a lot of the emails that come into the office of the president. I have no recollection of it. None. While Starr calls for transparency and openness, it appears his message is still being tightly controlled.